The state of Florida has missed the train. Governor Rick Scott said no to a plan that would have kept the high-speed rail alive by allowing local governments to take over. So with the promise of federal money and thousands of jobs now gone, the governor's decision has caused a ripple of protest across this state. Our Rebecca Medina is live in downtown Tampa with more on how Tampa residents and lawmakers are responding to this. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. This empty field in downtown Tampa was actually a plan to stop in this rail project. It's no longer going to happen, and you've got lots of folks, lots of unemployed folks, who had plenty to say about the governor's decision. It's like our votes don't count. It's like what we're saying, we don't have a voice in the situation. Shanita Hobbs has been unemployed for nearly two years. She's a customer service worker and thinks high-speed rail might have put a lot of people like her back to work. But that won't happen. Governor Rick Scott said no to federal money last week. And Thursday, he said no to a coalition of lawmakers trying to keep the project alive. This is pitiful. President Kennedy said that if you make an error and you don't correct that error, it becomes a big mistake. And this is what uh, the governor has done. Senator Bill Nelson, leaders in Orlando, even Tampa Mayor Pam Iorio are angry. And there is already talk that the governor may have exceeded his authority. It is being considered uh, a petition to the Florida Supreme Court asking for a writ of mandamus that he has exceeded his authority and to stop it dead in its tracks there. I don't a little pissed off. This unemployed chef said the rail project could have possibly enabled his ability to commute to Orlando for work. But Tea Party supporters are thanking the governor. Just because the federal government is giving money out, which we don't have, by the way, that doesn't mean that we should be taking that money. Shanitha's disappointed, and she said as the governor moves on to the next item of business, she'll keep showing up at places like the Workforce Alliance, hoping tomorrow there will be work. Finding a job is no joke right now. And from the sound of it, it looks like lawmakers are not willing to let this go just yet. So we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you every update as we get it. For now, we're live in downtown Tampa, Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News. Thank you, Rebecca. So what happens now that the governor has turned down the idea? President Barack Obama's transportation secretary gave supporters of high-speed rail until tomorrow to come up with a plan, but the governor won't budge. New York and California have both made pitches to the federal government to get some or all of that $2.4 billion. A proposed light rail in Hillsborough County was defeated in November. Voters overwhelmingly rejected a countywide transportation tax that would have funded the train and expanded bus service in Tampa. The measure was strongly backed by business groups and Tampa Mayor Pam Iorio, but it was soundly defeated with 58% of the county electorate voting no. Many believe the struggling economy was the reason.